get scared by my face? If you did, you better click on that subscribe button right now. It'll definitely help the channel. Please do it. No, seriously, do it now. And comment down below what's your favorite scary movie. I will be liking all comments, so uh, make sure to comment. Now it's time to check out this scary video. The skinwalker is trying to pretend it's my dog. Oh my god, look at that puppy. Yo, it is one cute little puppy. For the people that have pets at home, be careful because they might not be your pet. I was waiting for my door dash when I heard a knock and looked outside to see this. Oh, oh, oh gosh, it's a zombie. I got my phone to try and record it. Then when I ran to the bathroom, it started knocking. But when I looked during the knocking, there was no one at the door, just her standing by the tree. Yo, that is so terrifying. Yeah, let me tell you this. I'm definitely sniping that thing in the face. If I ever see one of those outside my house, I'm grabbing all my tools and I'm throwing everything at it. I'm not letting nobody, especially that ugly looking thing, creep on me like that. Okay, what's this? Okay, this person is just swinging back and forth, having these people push her. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that behind the background? Did you guys see that? Oh my god. Oh gosh, she's an alien. But the funny thing is, is that the alien is just in the background waiting for its turn or something. Like, did he just walked off? I thought I had heard about the worst human experiments, but I was wrong. So back in the 1950s, there was a woman named Gail who went to the doctor complaining about anxiety. And the doctor told her they had this new treatment for anxiety if she wanted to try it. Also, I did a whole episode on this story if you want to hear the entire thing. So first he brings Gail into this room where he tells her he's going to give her a few electroshocks, which was normal at the time. But then without preparing her, he gives her 15 times the maximum dosage of electroshocks. And after he does this, Gail starts writhing around on the floor and sucking her thumb, acting like a baby. What? Her brain was so scrambled from the shocks, she thought she was a child again. But this is exactly what the doctor wanted. So after all this happens, he gets Gail out of there and he puts her straight into a drug-induced coma. And when she's in the coma, he starts playing tapes on a loop for her. And some of them say things like, I'm a good member of society. Oh. So the experiment the doctor was running was he wanted to see if he could take Gail's personality out of her through electroshocks and drugs and then put another one inside of her. What? Gail was kept in this study for months and she was released with the other subjects once the doctor figured out that what he was doing wasn't working. And Dude, that's so evil. And also, aren't you supposed to be like, after getting 15 electroshots? I mean, I'm not an expert on these type of things, but I would assume so. Moral of the story, don't always listen to your doctor, all right? If you want to reduce your anxiety, just believe in God and meditate. My Barbie is 300 years old and she's alive. Every toy on the planet is alive. Right. Your toys are sleeping and they can awake at any moment. Look at your toys in the eyes and tell me if it blinks. Are you blinking? Are you blinking at me? Don't blink at me. Any toy that blinks at me, all right? I swear to God, I'm taking that thing to the bathtub and I'm drowning it. The video I'm about to show you is freaking out the internet. Take a look at this deer and watch what it does. What? People believe that this deer was shape-shifting and that it might be a wendigo. A wendigo? Wendigos are cannibalistic shapeshifters from Algonquin folklore. <sighs> Could this be a wendigo about to shapeshift into its true wow. form? And it caught the camera and it's like, oh shit, can't do it. <laughs> Listen, if a deer is standing in the middle of a cemetery, it's most likely not a deer and it's a bad sign that you should get out of there or else it's gonna shapeshift into you when he makes eye contact with you, you know what I mean? The horror hidden in the photo. <laughs> a photo of, a photo of the two sisters. What's weird about that? Where did this nun come Where did the nun come from? Bro, it's just standing, it's sitting right there. What are you talking about where the nun come from? Like, it's standing right there. I mean, sitting right there. Enjoying their vacation. Okay. The girl in the red lost her footing while posing for a picture and fell into Niagara. Oh, yo, that is crazy. Like, I've been to Niagara Falls and I didn't see any red lady jumping off of the cliff or something or like, you know what I mean? Like I didn't, I didn't see anything falling from Niagara Falls. The only thing that I saw falling from Niagara Falls was Niagara Falls. Okay, never mind. Makes the water act like this. Yo, what? It's like a, a frequency wave, but the water version. You know what? I think I know what actually made the water like that. And the last airbender. The water bender. There's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us. What? And it's over there. No way. Okay, where is this on your property? There's no way this is real. Uh, uh, in my backyard. 
Is it, I swear to God, this is not a dope. This is actually weird. So Can you clarify this? So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. What? They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like, Dude, that's like crazy. I can't explain it. And big eyes. Dude, it looks like Donald Trump. Tiny eyes and, and they're not human. They're 100% not human. You think calling the police is gonna do anything? As soon as the police arrive, that thing is gone. So why don't you step outside yourself and find that big giant thing? Come on, it's only, it's only nine foot. Like nine foot is about this, this tall, right? Like the size of my head. Come on now, man. I'll find that thing. Uh, what the actual? I dreamt it chased me up the stairs. Yo, what the actual grudge am I looking at right now? This is just way too out of hand. Oh my god, this guy's walking down the stairs. He's running down the stairs and he's trying to escape from this thing. Maybe. Or maybe. Oh, yo, do you, do you guys see that hand? It was behind the object. And he's. Up. Oh my god, yo, that thing is just. What the. Why am I watching right now? What is this? This is gonna give me nightmares for the rest of my life. Like I can't even handle this anymore. Like at home right now. Oh my god, yo! I don't know what the uh uh anymore anymore. Yo, this guy is in 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 deep fear, right? Oh my god, what? Yo, no. Oh, what the? Dude, what was that at the end? Like it was it was so scary throughout the whole video up until the end. That thing was chasing after him like this. This is an incredibly shocking scene captured by surveillance cameras. After watching it, I couldn't calm down for a long time. It truly made me believe in the existence of parallel universes. In the footage, the girl is playing with her phone while cleaning. She quickly gathers the trash together. But just as she picks up the dustpan to collect the garbage, she suddenly notices that the broom has vanished into thin air. This sight completely baffles the girl, leaving her standing right still in bewilderment. She can't comprehend how the broom she was holding just moments ago could no, disappear. Could it be a ghost? After several minutes of searching, the girl still can't this find the vanished no broom. Perplexed, she scratches her head and decides to grab another <sighs> broom. She plans to finish her work first and then analyze huh? what happened. Continuing with her task, the girl takes out a new broom to resume sweeping. No way, Perhaps the captivating content on TikTok distracted <laughs> her. Unfortunately, in her multitasking state, her phone coincidentally drops to the ground. The girl looks at her fallen phone with great distress. However, at that moment, she suddenly spots the missing broom, startling her to the point where she almost shouts Bye. for her mother. If it weren't for the surveillance footage, her experience today might have required a Nobel Prize winning physicist to- Scariest <laughs> moments caught on camera in the woods. This video shows a strange man crawling out from the woods. Hey, how are you doing? Dude, that is no man, bro. Oh, that is a possessed oh, man. Cruisers, man. Oh, yo, what? This guy is crawling on the floor. Oh my gosh. What's up, dude? Some what people is he say doing? he was possessed by a demon or was a skinwalker. He looks so flexible. What do you think? Dude, he's he's able to stretch like his his arms out that long. Like that's crazy, dude. Like. <laughs> It's 3 a.m. and the door just fell down. I'm really scared because I'm alone with my daughter. I can't, I can't. What is happening? Something is there, something is there. It's oh, yo! Oh my god, yo! That's so creepy, dude. Animals as skinwalkers. Deer. Okay, deer. Skinwalker deer? Let's see. Oh my god! Dude, that dude just did a backflip. Tried to do a backflip, but he completely failed. Oh, that's a cute puppy. That was a cute dog. He was just standing on its two toes and he opened the door. Like, that person probably taught the dog how to open doors. And you should too. If you guys have pets at home, teach your dogs to open doors. So we can run away from the ghosts in your house! This photo is of the Cincinnati crawler. Cincinnati crawler? He was taken by a family who caught him in their home in 1974, Yo. but he escaped shortly afterwards. What? So in 1974, the Johnson family in Cincinnati noticed a couple weird things happening in their home. The 14-year-old daughter, Claire, would complain about seeing glowing eyes outside of her window at night. And then one night, the youngest son, Timmy, was laying in bed in the dark when he felt the family dog jump up onto his Joel. bed. 
but when he went to go pet it, it was not the dog. What? It was the crawler, who police still believe was responsible for the disappearance of four other boys no in the way. area. Some creep. believe that he was an escaped convict, while others actually believe that he was the victim of human experiments happening in the area that may have been conducted by the family's dad. What? Claire snapped this photo of him before he escaped, Rough. but he was never found since. That is crazy. How can you do my mans like that? They just transformed him into a mummy. This guy is just walking around like this. <sighs> Good job, you guys made it to the end of the video. Oh yeah, also check out these videos right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.